Because, you see, we are at the bottom of the nation. It's a land of beautiful people. Also retirees and mermaids and fugitives and tourists, crazy criminals. And, of course, cops. One and two and step on a crack and break your mother's back. Charlie, what the hell are you doing? The trouble with you is you was never a kid. The trouble with you is you're 100 pounds overweight. And your 70-year-old cock ass is going to go right through the ceiling. In the first place, I'm 59. And I am full-figured. And you're cranky. I'm not cranky. We've been up all night watching paint dry. Well, the fresh white wall is how we lure the wolf into our trap. I can't believe that I'm on graffiti patrol. You think it's easy to get on graffiti patrol? You know, if I hadn't pulled the string, we'd still be playing cops and robbers. Show some appreciation. Logan, would you take a look at this, would you? The wolf is the Picasso of the streets. You know, and did you know that the airbrush has taken the place of the paintbrush? I don't care. Well, once you learn that it's not graffiti, you'll appreciate it as art. Wolf, that's his tag. Yep, this wall. It's like cheese to a rat. <laughs> ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Claro que estoy despierto. Some of the stuff that he got. What do you think, huh? I just want to see some stuff. I just want to see some stuff. That's all I want to see. Oh, that's what I'm talking. Oh, how about some right now? Can we, can we do some right now? No, first we do the do. Oh, man, they were gonna do the do, huh?
glad I ain't carrying this bag. Man could get ideas, huh? The idea is not to get ideas. I was just thinking out loud, mister. So am I. and science stuff. It's not how much you eat, it's what foods you put together. No meat or protein with your, with your starches, and no fruits with your vegetables. It's all about combinations. What the hell are you doing? What? I ain't gonna combine this with nothing. Looks like a candy bar, doesn't it? I bought it at a health food store. High energy, I need that. Look that, look. Eight forty-five in the AM, and already my shirt is sticking to my ass. Huh. going down. Call for backup. What do you mean, call for backup? For backup, I got a hunch. The last time you had a hunch, I got shot. Hold in, Charlie. The Rock Buffini Patrol! Ah. I'm staying here, I don't care. What's he looking at? So he's got a hunch, got a hunch. Charlie Deuce. We got a snatch and grab. Three male Latino suspects on foot. Harrison South of third. Also need backup. This is one Brady seven. We're four blocks away. <laughs> Went out and wait for the gunshots. Call in our 20s. I don't like alleys. There are too many corners, dead ends. Call it in, Charlie. Call it in, Charlie. You know, why'd you wait for your new partner to play cowboy? I'm Charlie Deuce. We are in a, a sector known as Robert. We have initiated a foot pursuit. At least my partner has.
Pues está loco el viejo, hombre. Yo lo conozco. Up against the wall, kid. Do it. Are you deaf? No entiendo. No entiendo. No. We're cool. No entiendo. A broken nose is better than a broken life. Entiendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak English. Yeah, speak English. Right. Está loco. Te va a matar. Yeah. I am crazy. What are you doing, man? You can't shoot a cop. I want to. You're crazy.
Looks like the road's blocked. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Hey, hey. I'm a golden oldie. Morning to you, Captain. And where have you been? Chasing my tail. You didn't see any of this. Well, he's fast. Since when do partners split up? Since my fat ass collapsed, Captain. Damn it. And where have you been? Why'd you leave the scene? Well, there were two perps. One is dead. The other one uh, had a weapon, ran away. I chose to go after the one that was alive and had the weapon, Captain. Charlie? I thought you guys were on graffiti patrol. We were. And it's not graffiti, it's art. <laughs> yes. So what kind of a mood do we be in this evening? A shooter. Oh, they be in a blue mood. Hey, Trumpet. What a day. Give me a tiny triple. How you doing, partner? Come on, you didn't kill that kid. Hey, you don't want my company? Fine. No, he was a scumbag. Sir, one of your finer sensibilities has always been allowing your underlings to spread their wings. Is this your subtle way of asking whether you can be let in on a Logan case? Well, let's see. The physical evidence is inconclusive. No confessions, no witnesses. Hey, I love it. Counselor, <laughs> when I was a cop, I found that people were more afraid of cops than crooks. Sir, people get the police they deserve. They deserve better. Now, I've seen the coroner's report. It fits the story we're going to tell of a time bomb in blue. Right. With, with all due respect, sir, it's just that uh, I don't think that the uh, excessive force by itself is going to play in Logan's case. I mean, it's become cliche. Do you have a better idea? What happened to the combination diet? What's a better combination than beer and whiskey? Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you knock. What's the score? No score, two fumbles. I got the over. You want a beer, Adam? No, thanks. What is this? Uh, Logan's a painter. Painting what? Uh, what does it bring to mind? Nothing. Oh, see, that's what he had in mind. You come over here to be an art critic? This is very confusing. <laughs> Mr. Barker's out to clean up the department. Again? <laughs> <laughs> I know you all find it very amusing, but... But? I think he's gunning for you. For what? How'd you get Pepe's blood on your sleeve? He's feeling for his pulse. Yeah, that makes sense. Paraffin test came back. No powder or soot on Pepe's hands. Pepe never had a gun. You know, uh, maybe Logan shot him, you know, when, uh, when he returned fire. Thanks. And he's got a long arm, as the coroner's saying the kid was shot from less than three feet. It had to be Milkai. Right, Milkai. I heard a shot. On the way over there, it had to be Milkai. Logan, it'd be nice if we could find the gun that matches the other casings at the scene. Where are you going with this, Adam? You should think about changing your story. Hey, I ain't married to my story. You're his partner. Who's gonna believe you? They don't have a case. Logan, how many times has a complaint board spanked you for being a 
badass cop. She's been decorated five times. Spank six. Huh. Not a bad record. 25 years. Hey, you could take a polygraph. Thanks. It's inadmissible. Well, still lessens the doubt. I think I will have a beer. We gotta talk about this. Sounds like Hertz is gonna pimp me with Pepe. Hey, no gun, no milk guy, no case. Charlie Hertz is looking for headlines. I gotta find milk guy. We'll start in Little Havana. <laughs> together. I thought you were going to be the DA that us cops could call a brother in arms. Well, Charlie, it hasn't changed. But cops have to be accountable. Equal law for all. That's how we put it 30 years ago. I know Logan like I know my priest. In no way he's a shooter. You know you know what? Character. Look the word up. Buy a dictionary if you can read. Easy, Charlie. Yeah, easy, Charlie. My friends call me Charlie. You're worse than a pup. You're something I scrape off the sole of my shoe. Uh, Charlie, you know, uh, McQueen is highly decorated, but, you know, you and I both know <laughs> the man is a loose cannon. As I recall, your statement indicates that you weren't even present at the time of the shooting. Is that correct? Leo, the kid had a broken ankle. Why would Logan shoot somebody who couldn't even walk? Oh, come on. A certain opportunity presents itself, a certain person has to go. Who cares about a cockroach? I thought you said this guy was smart. Is that the bitch you can come up with? That's pretty light. Is it? I'm smart enough to know that when nobody's watching, we all have our moments. Now, you think about that, Detective Duffy. You get that finger out of my face, or I'll stick it where your mama checks your temperature. Good idea. Mr. Barker's out to clean up the department. Oh! Adam, I didn't kill a kid. Problem is, Barker thinks you did. They got no case. It's circumstantial. But it's election year. Hertz doesn't care about a trial. Hey! Maybe Logan shot him, you know, when, uh, when he returned fire. And he's got a long arm. As the coroner's saying, the kid was shot from less than three feet. I think he's gunning for you. Give the right to an attorney, have an attorney present. Get off it. What do you think you're going to do with those? Put away the handcuffs, Higgs. He don't need them. Logan, I'm going to need your shield. Higgs, he knows the way. No way they make their case. Ray Hurts ain't the dullest knife in the drawer.
Compañero. How are you? I was counting on being a half a million dollars richer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I still expect to be paid. So, you said over the telephone you wanted to uh, whisper something in my ear. I just found out it's 310 grand in the bag. According to my arithmetic, that's $190,000 light. Who do you think? Who do I think? Or what do I think? <laughs> you tell me. Hi. I'll have a hamburger. Well done. Here. Any news on the two whiz kids? Nothing. Pepe must have been hanging around. Pepe is a dead end. No names. Uh, somebody come up with a couple of gang names, you know, uh, Chucho, Catarato. Catarato? Melchior, okay, that's something. Listen, I need you out of here. Yeah. Are the hamburger done? You don't need any more hamburgers. Knocked me down when I got the call from Charlie. I didn't think I could afford you. Charlie passed a hat. No. How's it feel being on the other side of the law? I'm not on the other side of the law. Don't get me mixed up with those low lives you get off all the time. I don't like cops. Nobody does until they need one. What my idea? Stuffies. Okay, I'll tell Charlie to give the money back. Whoa. Sorry. Please. Did you kill him? I didn't think you guys asked that question. I'm not a guy, and I'm asking. No. Did you kill him? Those things on the side of your head, hold up your earrings, do they work? Okay. I believe you. I don't think they have a case. Obviously, somebody disagrees with you. It's one thing. I call the shots. What I say goes. I am your judge and jury. I decide. Have you got that? A benevolent dictator. Perfect form of government. I love beating men at their own game, especially prosecutors. Let's see about getting you out of here. Bail set at 500,000. Next case. Case number 7294, the state versus Moransky. See you in court. You know he passed the lie detector test. So what? Bad. 
Dad? Dad. What if you, what if you can't make bail? They move you to a cell. Wow. Maybe they'll make us roommates. Queen, you made bail. Dave? I'm Ron. Oh, Ron. That's all right. I'm happy for you anyway. <laughs> I'm going to be here a while. How about that light? Oh, yeah. Yeah, keep them. Buddies down at the DMV. They can kiss my cherubic buns because I don't. Lord, I'm mercy. Look at you. Give me some sugar. Oh, my, you look good. You look so good. <laughs> Woof. Lady is dangerous. Yeah, he's a hard time. <laughs> I've been praying for you at church. I've been kneeling a little myself. Get on over there. Do your business. Mm -mm. Check it out. Boy still got back. <laughs> Charlie, uh, put up the whole 50. Oh, who knows anything around here? Here you go. You don't have to fill any more of that crap out. Do you want to know where I'm standing? You ain't going nowhere, baby. Come on, Schumann, Schumann, turn around. Hello, Lalo. You're doing court in 15 days. How'd you like me to help you? A la porra, man. What do you want? I'm looking for a last name for a catarato. Hey, man, there's a lot of cataratas around here, man. Catarata Escobar, Catarata Castro, Catarata, Catarata. Yeah. <laughs> He's the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking for one man. Uh, yeah, but he uses many names. How many got to milk on? Huh? Uh, huh? I don't hear ah. It's Catarato Estevez. What? Catarato Estevez. Catarato is finished? Oh, thank you very much. I want you to bump any case you can to get Logan on the docket. Myler's one hell of an attorney, but she can be a witch and you can substitute a bee there. I'm certain you can hold your own. <laughs> you know, I realize there are certain people who wonder why you want to try this case before the election, but, uh, like I said, look at the polls. Logan's serving a purpose. This is not about the election, Hertz. It's about law and order. Am 
nice evening. So far, uh, get in. Since you asked so sweetly. Noches, Sergeant. I need those. Well, I was waiting for a bigger car. A bigger car, Godzilla. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Would you like a big drink? Well, only if the pretty guy here is the waiter. <laughs> a cop with with a feel for comedy. How amusing. <laughs> I guess you know who I am, huh? Oh, I know who you are, Mr. Martin. I busted you a while back for running a horse pond. That you did. You certainly did. It was a long time ago. Well, not so long ago. 15 years. You've uh, risen to the head of the class. This country's been good to me. I got no complaints. What's on your mind? I've got a lot on my mind. But I know that you're a man in a hurry. You want me to be laconic and get to the point, no? I have no charm. Besides, you have enough charm for both of us. Only when it hurts. <laughs> no. Where's my money? Excuse me? I'm your patron. Patron? Yeah. How the hell do you think that you made bail? You think Christmas came early this year? Half a million dollars was in that bag when it left my hands. And only 310,000 was counted out by your own forensic officers. What's that got to do with me? You were the officer at the scene. That's what it has to do with you. Well, I was a police officer. A bag man. Choo-choo in Colorado. That's true. But you're the only bird that we have in hand. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to treat you with the respect and the dignity that you deserve, but... <laughs> so, when my boys start asking you, where's the money, I suggest that you answer them quickly and honestly. Hmm? Well, then we have a problem. Because I don't like it when anybody touches me, puts their hands on me. Or my bird. Pull over. Have a beautiful evening. You got a lead in there? Yeah, I do. Gonna slow your hand speed down, isn't it?
that bag when it left my hands. And only 310,000 was counted out by your own forensic officers. I was a police officer. A bag man. Choo-choo and cut around. Where's my money? Disoriented? Yeah. This couldn't be your place. It's too feminine. You have two cracked ribs. Would you like to try for three? You must have walked three, four miles before you fainted at Charlie's door. And that wasn't very macho of you. No, it wasn't. Did Charlie bring me here? No, I did. We thought you'd be safer here. I didn't think he bought me here. I mean, couldn't have known about all this. These pillows. I mean, why do women always have these little pillows? I mean, they're useless. Huh? They're nice to look at, but useless. Relatable symbolism for you, I assume. It's the last guy who slept here. It's been the last guy who slept here. It's cute. Hey, Lefty. Oh, you look so sweet. How's my rose of trelly? What do you want now? You posted a bail bond on a, a guy with a milk eye. Uh, nicknamed Catarato. Tito Estevez. I want to see his file. Oh, how far is the sacred, honey? Just like the one you took from the precinct. Uh, how much? Why would I give you the file? Because Logan needs it. How come? Well, if you wanted me to know, I'll tell you. Cute. You know the uh, best 10 years of an Irishman's life? Third grade. Ah! <laughs> One of these days I'll find one you don't know. Uh... Oh, you're lucky. This is your lucky day. He owes me some money. <laughs> I love you, Mama. Are you just on it? And close that door behind you. By me. You were quite an athlete. Excuse me? At Charlie's place, when I went to help him out. He's got a shrine to your football, boxing, oh, track. I wore a few sweaters. You have any family? Just Charlie. No, I mean birth family. <laughs> Men I know love to talk about themselves. Oh, really? Oh. Bounce around. You were a runaway? No. Father was a runaway. I was only five years old. But I could tell he wasn't coming back. I ran after him and tackled him. <laughs> Punched me in the nose. My mother was never quite the same after that. And I went from foster home to foster home. Where does Charlie come in? Charlie kind of plucked me up when I was about 16. Talked to the coaches. Told them to give me a second chance. I figured it out. Football hero sometimes gets the girl. He listens to, to everything I say. He even listens when I have got anything to say. He listens all the time. And if you're birth father showed up? I punched him in the nose. Go back to Charlie. What are you going to do when you get too old to punch any noses? Become a shepherd. My brother used to get in a lot of fights. My father took him aside and explained to him, you get nothing with this. You get everything with this. Your father wasn't a cop. <laughs> I'll call Charlie. Have him come pick me up. Why? Well, I can't sleep on those dumb pillows again. Oh, that's okay. You can sleep on the couch. Yes. 
Hi. I just let myself in. Hi. Oh, I'm starved. Oh, I'll fix this way. Oh, you shouldn't have. How'd you know it was coming? What'd you find out? Well, I think I, uh, I found Colorado's address. Yeah. How about you? Martin says the bag was light. He thinks you took it. I told him you took it. Want to split it? <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Hi. Um, where's this breakfast you promised me? Oh. You know, 35 years, he's never even once dropped a piece of bread in a toaster for me. Ooh. Marital problems? No, oh, he's low blood sugar. He's very grouchy. You sleep okay? Uh, no. You? Best sleep in months. I'm gonna jump in the shower. I'll fix it, right? Yeah, I'll make sure he does. Almost as good as mine. Oh, I, um... I got this for you. Mm. You know, nice. just in case, you know... And when he hits you, you can shoot back. Sure. Love the flower. Oh. Mm. Come on, we got work to do. Well, who else could have taken Martin's money? Well, a cop in the property room, Colorado, me. Colorado looked like he was packing dough. No, uh, no. Hell, I don't know. I'm not sure anymore. How about uh, Martin's bag man? Oh, I think he's with his makeup. <laughs> Be funny if he did do it. Yeah. You know, the only guy's going to get me off is the shooter. Yeah. You got it. When is two as? If you took Martin's money, would you still be in town? Would you? There it is. Yeah. All right. Seven. I'm Detective McQueen. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Got any ID? Yes, ma'am. Got anything with a picture on it? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I need my glasses. Hold on. Oh. He's got black hair. I know. It's, it's an old... It's an old picture. I... That ain't you. No, it is me. No, it ain't you. It is me. I dyed my hair. Why? Why? Why'd you dye it? You looked much younger when it was black. Can we come in? How about you, Dolly? You a cop, too? Uh, a clairvoyant. <laughs> well, let me put my cat up. Okay, fellas, this way. Now watch your step. Wow. Now you can meet all my cats. Here they are. Oh, wow. would you fellas hanker for a beer? Uh, no, no, um, no, he's on the wagon, and uh, I'm here to lend moral support. <laughs> What's on your mind? Uh, we're looking for an ex. Tenant. He's here about a year ago. Apartment four. If he ain't here now, he don't exist. Uh, please. Oh. All right. Let me see now. Oh, yes. Number four's been here nine months. You can't reach back nine months? Well, who'd want to remember? Precious. That cat is dead. I knew that. <laughs> Maybe the owner kept some records. You're looking at her, honey. At least since my better half kissed off. <laughs> well, we won't waste any more of your time. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got some kind of a notice from the DMV about that unit oh, a few weeks back. Uh, you're looking for a girl, right? Tatarata is a girl. Still have the notice? Why would I? Let's go. 
I'm ready. Are you sure you don't want to be it? No, no, no. Uh, I, I'm a heart man myself. <laughs> hey, Dolly, I got that, too. Uh, no, duty calls. Charlie, you can stay if you want to. <laughs> I gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> Have a chair. Oh. Are you an aficionado of flamenco dancing? I was, until I found out uh, Jose Greco was born in Brooklyn. <laughs> Would you care to join me at some paella marina? I've lost my appetite. Oh. Well, so have they. Because the jaws are broken, huh? <laughs> I should bounce them, but I'm too sentimental. Someone tried to kill me last night. Oh, hey, don't look at me. Maybe you should call the police, huh? Or maybe it was the police. Are you telling me that the police are trying to kill me? No, I'm saying that everybody thinks you've got enemies. <laughs> if I had the money, I wouldn't be here. Yes, 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 I, I see. But what about... Catarato, why can't you find him? I haven't got him yet. I'll get him. <laughs> okay. My boy's uh, out of commission, so I guess <laughs> you're my only hope, huh? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, my friend. Please. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> One more shot at you. Tell him not to talk with his mouth full. <laughs> hey, McQueen! Swear to thee. Miss Myler. Mr. Hertz. You're in the big leagues again. I never left. Sort of a turnaround, you defending a cop. Oh, I don't think so. Seeing as crooks and cops are sort of odd couples. Oh, I wish I'd said that. Oh, you will, Mr. Hertz. Maybe for once I'm on the same side as you. Oh, come on. Hear me out. Barker wants this to be the second crucifixion. Now, suppose I can whittle him down to a reasonable plea bargain. I'm not saying I can't. Oh, spare me the soft sell, Mr. Hertz. I've read the ballistics report. None of the casings near the body match Logan's gun. It's almost lewd. You and Barker pushing this into court. Why, if I didn't know better, I would accuse you of playing politics. Don't ever say I didn't try to help. When I need your kind of help, I will quit the bar. Logan's going down. We have more money than he does. Maybe, if money can be bright. Good afternoon, Mr. Hertz. That high performance chip should be in manana, Logan. Nice to see you, Goober. Uh, it's, uh, it's Davey. Oh, that's right. Uh, Davey Goober. Thanks for the window, Davey. Yes, sir. Goober, Smoocher. 
the hell you gotta be so tough on the kid for? Oh, you caught that, huh? Yeah, it's chemical. Listen, we got uh, one car that cross checks with three outstanding parking tickets at the cat lady's address. Mm. Got uh, one hot check charge a couple of years ago, and uh, no home phone. Registered to a Nugayan, 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 Nug ah, I can't pronounce it. Asian. Yeah, that's what he said. Ah, old business phone. We got an address. Twenty-five, twelve. I know it. I bet. I'll be right with you. Okay. I was looking for, um, some carnations or a bird of paradise. Funeral. No. no it's, uh, just, uh, trying to impress somebody. What would you suggest? A single black orchid. Did that impress you? I better just take the single black orchid. We don't have any in stock. Scotterano. Logan. This guy's a two-time loser. Wait for backup. Go back to the car and call it in.
Get dressed. Get up. You took away my gun once. You killed the kid. What you expect? Pepe was a crackhead. He slowed me down. He was gonna tell on me. What'd you do in my gun? Can't really. Where was the money going? Same place you pick up your check. My precinct? <laughs> what about the money? I was gonna take the money, but then I saw that other cop. What cop? There was another cop in the alley besides me? I don't care if you believe it or not. How do you know it was a cop? Give me a break. Logan, they're coming. Oh, son of a I got on his way. Read him his rights, Johnny. Come on, you know the drill. Read him! Young lady, you should know better than a guy. Charlie, get out! Ah, John! <laughs> Did you ever see anybody as best? You see him go out that window? I couldn't believe it! I think espresso beans would be stronger than French roast, but it's the other way around. What are we talking about? Higgs. Higgs. Uh, who knows? On the surface, he's a carbon copy of you. You know, he's been suspended. For? Excessive force. It seems someone filed a complaint, which was a little shady. So Higgs paid the guy a visit, and it escalated. Sound familiar? Yeah. Higgs was the first cop on the scene. So? So, how long was it before you called it in? How would I know? Well, it was me, and there was Logan, and there was Higgs. And there was me? I was being polite, Captain. Thank you. Check that bag and see if Higgs's prints are on it. You're not intimating he shot Pepe. Captain, there was a lot going on at Alley that day. Just keeping an open mind. Pretty good. French roast. You buy milk, I saw another cop in the alley. Charlie Colorado's dead. Higgs is the cop in the alley, and I need him as a witness. This place smells fishy. And so does Higgs. Oh, over there. Look. Yo! Higgs! Sergeant! Who died? Or did you inherit that? It's a drug auction. Yeah, right. Too bad I can't afford one. This is a social call or what? It's an all what? Let me write down. Look at this, will you? A drug auction? You must have been the only one who knew about the auction. Hi, I'm single. Been expecting you. Matter of fact. Somebody from downtown called me and asked me a bunch of dumb questions. What do you remember about the alley? Put it behind me. How come? It never made sense. How long was it between the time you heard the shots? 
Found Pepe. I didn't look at my watch. Uh, maybe five minutes? You sure? Why do I have to be sure? It's long enough. What's that supposed to mean? Don't be so defensive. <laughs> Who's talking? Just saw Pepe, nobody else. I would say Pepe focused my mind. What about the bag? What about it? Did you pick it up? Why would I? I know better than to mess with a crime scene. What are you so touchy about? Why are you here? Don't you know? I've got a secret at the end for you. Did you know that there was money missing from that bag? Money belonged to Martin. Connie Martin. Connie Martin. And he says it was uh, stolen by a cop. Yeah, like an arrogant cop. Thinks everybody else is stupid. It's a sign of youth. Better get your partner out of here before I kick his ass. You better bring your lunch. Charlie, you mind taking a walk? Yes, I would. I'll do it anyway. Charlie's like a candle. It's about burned right down to the end. It won't happen to me. Yeah. You got a boat. Comfy in that chair. I think it fits rather well. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be around for a while. Ready to drop the charges? Oh, that was yesterday. Uh, you're drooling. <laughs> the only other bullet casings match this gun, which turned up in a dumpster a few blocks away from the crime scene. Please. Now, the surprise is that we come to find out that the gun is registered to you. You see, Miss Myler, it is in fact true that cops and crooks make odd couples. You lied to me. I didn't kill that kid. Counselor, I would like a moment with my client, please. Not in my office. Your office? Counselor, Officer McQueen, please be seated. Do you want your client present for this? I'd like to hear anything you have to say. Is this your gun, Officer McQueen? Don't answer that. Yes, sir. Shut up. And these? Yes, sir. Logan, please. Miss Myler, I think we had a case before this gun was turned in. And our case isn't any worse because of it. Sir. I had the perps cornered. Took my eye off Colorado for a moment. He blindsided me and uh, took my gun. Sorry, I didn't hear that. He took my gun. I had a backup. I had a, another Glock ankle holster. Are we supposed to believe that Super Cop lost his gun and his handcuffs too? I have, I have a hard time admitting that. I have stepped over the line a few times, more than a few times. You know what, no matter what kind of spin this model puts on this, I'll be forced to own up to a crime that I did not commit. I'll be forced to say I was a bad cop. Please don't take my bad. If someone was in the alley, then he's got to be connected with the money in the bag. That's true. You better find him quick, because I think Barker's going to go for the full boat. Hmm. What do you think? Well, I'll, uh... I'll chase the money. And at the end of the chase? I haven't decided. You're out of time. 
When news of your gun hits the press, Curtis is not gonna let Barker sit on that for more than a sunset. Well, I thought maybe you could stall him for a day or two. Plea bargain or whatever. Maybe it'll help me. If not, I'll do whatever you decide. I know you will. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't go over the table after Hertz. So am I. I tried to do it. Your father's way. Good luck. back on the road that's okay you're doing me the favor someone tried to kill me last night maybe you should call the police huh or maybe it was the police <laughs> well you think these guys would take better care of my cars You been doing some of that secret police stuff? Logan? Well, that was quick. Yeah. Hold it. I know that look. What's going on? Do me a favor. I want you to go back to forensics. See if they have any smudge prints on that bag of Colorado. Oh, come on. Colorado wastes Pepe. Grabs 190 grams, shuts it down his fly, and then bought a nine foot fence. Just do it, pal. Oh, Captain. Hey, hey. How'd it go at the DAs? Complicated. However, I got a fresh lead. That's a relief. Yeah. I got an anonymous phone call. They want to meet me tonight at Charlie's place. They said they know who the money is going to. Also, I'm meeting Colorado's sister. I understand she's very attractive. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm a happily married man. So was I a couple of times. You sound a little hostile. No. I'm feeling real friendly. I'll let you know how it turns out. You got any dates tonight, boys? Cancel them. If you're the kind of man I think you are, you'll be here. some errands for me. I thought you were checking on some prints. Yeah, yeah, then, then I got thinking you're up to something. I am. That I can believe. You want a beer? Yeah. The other night, somebody tried to whack me. I got a shot off. Today, guess whose car? Had a hole through the license plate. I'm tired of guessing. It was our dear Captain Gunther. Well, 
Colorado was gone to snitch. Says who? I figure Gunther told him to uh, watch his bag, man. And then Colorado decided to go into business for himself. Yeah, sounds like the, uh, the novice outwits the master. Almost. Gunther's on the take for Martin. And Gunther may try to kill me tonight, but he wasn't the cop in the alley. And Gunther didn't take the money. I don't follow. Uh, what about Higgs? I've been running this over and over in my mind, Charlie. Sometimes, you know, you have to step back from the puzzle, get a look at the people. I still don't follow. Whoever was in that alley had everything to do with taking the money. You're way ahead of me. Am I? You see, there were three people that knew how much money that bag was like. Martin, Gunther, and me. But you said something this afternoon. It keeps coming back to me. You said... Colorado made off with 190 grand. So what? So what? So how did you know exactly how much money that bag was like? How did you know that, Charlie? Unless it was you who took the money. I swear, I couldn't imagine it would escalate. I always thought they'd pin Pepe on you. When I was 16 years old, a cop and his wife came into my life. You and Edie, a ready-made family, no strings attached. And he taught me self-respect and love. I excelled. I excelled, in I, Charlie? I betrayed myself. All those things you said I taught you, I've lost. I'm scared. You know, sometimes when you're with a disease this long, someone must get infected. And Edie, <sighs> and then it was just us, just the two of us. Look at all the millions we turned in over the years. Chances we've taken, always at risk for what? Logan? You're gonna give me a gold watch and a piss and pension. Let's go. Okay. Damn it, listen. 
Listen, I, I'll say that I stole the money. I, I, I'll tell him I killed the kid. I, I'm sorry. I, I'll tell him anything. It's too late. It's too late, Johnny. Really? Is it really too late? Let's find out, you old fool. Doesn't have to be this way. Stow it! You're on Martin's payroll! So what? The hell's the matter with you, Adam? Finish it! Captain, we gotta go! Detectives through the details. Yes, sir. This still doesn't get you off the hook. I still don't have a killer for Pepe. Leo, the killer is dead. Let's see if I can make Milo's offer work. Hey, kid. You know what scares me about you? What's that? You remind me of me. You hungry? Let's get a hamburger. Miner may think that because they got your gun, you're going to serve time. Hey, leave it to your partner. I turn the money over to uh, Barker, and uh, he buys that I saw Colorado shoot Pepe. And you skate. Do you think Hertz is going to let you sell to a jury that you're a thief, but you're not a liar? You wouldn't last two weeks in prison. You know that, and I know it. How the hell do you think I'm gonna live with that? How am I gonna live with that, Charlie? I don't know. Well, there's no reason for both of us to end up behind bars.
What are you going to do? You know, if Milo is as good as she thinks she is, with an early release, you, you could be out in less than a year. I forgive you, darling. I only hope you can forgive yourself. I know that I disappoint. Don't say anything. Now get out. Charlie, you broke my heart. I know. Maybe not. 